So we continue our touch designer tutorial. So in the last exercise, we have a very simple use of putting in, for example, the default image into your screen and then use different forms of effect. So that is those Photoshop filter and try to have some creative visual output on your screen. And we also learn how we can enable the performance window where you can get away with all those interface and control in the edit mode. So in today's exercise, we try to have more fun with the external file content like those still file or still photo and also the QuickTime movie. So we have prepared a number of files in our folder. So there are two ways you can try to add those files onto the Touch Designer. So one of the very simple way is you can do it by drag and drop. You drag one of those files and put it onto your editor window and you will have the movie in top. That's the texture operator created. And if you take a look of the parameter or the properties of the movie in one, so you can have a look of the external file paths over here. And similarly, you can drag more file onto your editor. And each one of them will create another movie in objects. So this is the original movie one, movie in one and movie in two. And similar to the still photo like the JPEG, TIFF or PNG, you can also drag other material like the digital video in this case. You can drag it onto the editor windows and it will also create the movie in objects. So the first one, second one and the last one. And if you start the timeline or the playhead and actually you can see the moving image in the digital video. And to output your creative work, so all we need to do is to create an output object OUT1 over here. And you can simply connect whichever image you would like to play around to the output objects. And we can also turn on the display effect for a temporary preview of your image on the background of your editing window. So the next step is we can insert some effect between the connection from the movie in and the output. So you can, for example, disconnect it and add another effect object similarly in the top the texture operator and some of those names are similar to the filter you have been using for example in Photoshop and we can find something to experiment with like the blur so this is actually the blur filter so you connect this one and from the output to the input of the out so this is the blur effect and if you would like to have some customization on the blur effect, you can further by invoking the parameter window by pressing the P key and then increase, for example, the effect of the blur and then to have a look of the final output. And beside the using of the blur filter, you can also insert other filter onto the operation between the movie in and output. And you can also simply by selecting or approaching this connection with your mouse and by doing a right click and do an insert operator. And it will ask you to insert something in between the two of them. For example, I can choose like the monochrome. So we will essentially change the color image onto the the 
black and white one. Okay, so the next one you can also have a look is, for example, like the edge. It's kind of the edge detection of your graphics. And because this one is a little bit noisy, so the edge you can create is similar in terms of density of the original one. And besides using the filter for just one of the objects from the movie in, you can combine, for example, the two of the graphical objects and then merge it into one. So the single output will be an output object, the OUT1. And the operation we can use, for example, they come with the names similar to what you have come across in the Photoshop layer mode, like the add, like the difference, or multiplied, or over. So those are the, the terms you may come across in the layer mode. So we can have fun with a few of them, like the add. So this step is easy, you just connect one, and then the second one, and then go to the output. So this is the combination by using the add layer mode of the two images sources. And alternatively, you can use other like the difference, which will give you totally different effect. So this is the use of difference. So in fact, there's also one composition or composite effect you can use is the composite over here. And actually you can have multiple or more than two of them to send to the input of this one. And then the output will go to the output objects. And first of all, for example, you connect the first of them and then the second one. It will have a default effect over here. And if you would like to change the effect, you can just select the composite object and press the key P, which is the parameter. And you can have a look of the operand selection. The default one you have been using is the multiply, simple, similar to the multiply layer mode in the Photoshop. And you can try out, for example, the add we have done before. And also subtract, and also multiply. And there are a few more of them you can explore the different and screen. So those are the effects you can explore by combining them together. For example, if you have this one difference and you can turn on the timeline playing, you can have a look of the effect by combining the two input source into one. And in most of the cases we have been working, we have two images sources which are of the same size, such that they will be scaled in the same aspect ratio and dimension, and then output to the out window. And in some cases, you do not want to have the two image sources just stitched together or overlap together to combine as one. And sometimes you may have some idea to arrange them differently in different location of your composition, similar, for example, to a video wall. So in that case, you may look into other operation. So in that case, so I'm going to introduce another object from the top. So what we are going to use is the corner pin. 
So corner pin is actually you take in one image and you scale it into smaller size and then locate it into different location of your final output. For example, if I connect it directly, it will give you the identical image and you can explore by taking a look of those parameter and if you take a look this come with two of them one is the extract and the other is the pin and you can consider it the extract is the input so that means how you would like to extract the original image and then paste it into the output for this case we do not want to for example if I just want to use the whole image and just scale it down into a quarter and place it into one single corner so in that case I do not need to modify the input the extra one and then I just go to the pin for example if I would like to put this image into the bottom left corner so the bottom left one will not have any changes so I just keep it 0 and 0 and you can see that the dimension is the kind of normalized measurement so that means the smallest number is 0 and the largest number is 1 so the left dimension 0 is over here 1 over here and the bottom over here top 1 over here and if we go to the bottom right, if you would like to use it into the, the center, so I will use like 0.5. And for the bottom right corner, if I just want it to stick over here at that bottom, I will keep it zero. And then I'll take care of the top left. For example, the left hand side is stick with the zero and then the right hand side the y dimension I would like to keep it down half of the screen so I'll use 0.5 over here and for the top right which is this particular corner if you would like to move it towards here and you can keep it half for both of them so the output of your graphics will be something like this one and you can also continue to work on with your movie tool with similar approach like the corner pin and if you also do the corner pin but at this point you move it to the right bottom corner so the bottom left will be moved to the this one and then the bottom right stay over here and the top left will move and then the top right will move in the right direction and as a result you can also combine the two of the objects into one by using what we have learned in the composite like this one and then you can select the purple one like the add so you can have two of them appear on your screen like this one and this is a form of video or image composition you can work around with so you can have still or moving image together or you have four of the moving image together to make uh, uh, effect like the video wall in this case